Look how fast you could remove and replace a background, then I'll show you in detail what I'm doing. One click, two click, three clicks. I'm gonna type in the background I want, generate. And just like that, I got one background, different background, different background, different background, different background, and all in less than 10 seconds. So let me show you exactly what I did here. First of all, you need this version of Photoshop that's in beta as I'm recording this. By the time it gets released, it's gonna be Photoshop 2024. I'll put a link in the description so you could get it for yourself. But I just have my image open here. This is just from pixels.com royalty free image. And all I have to do is I get this new AI panel over here that I could actually move around anywhere I want. And you could select a subject or with one click, you could remove the background. So if you just wanna remove the background and bring your own background, you could do that. In this case, I'm gonna undo that. I don't wanna do that. I wanna select the subject. So this is gonna select the person here. And then I wanna go ahead and invert that selection. This basically now just selects the background. A easy way to select the background and not the subject. And now all I have to do is click Generative Fill. This is the Photoshop AI tool here. And I could describe exactly what I want the background to become. So I showed you the beach option in the beginning, so I'll do city street this time. And AI is going to generate a brand new background for me. And if you look over here, these are the different variations and he blends it in really nicely. So this is the different variation I have here. This is a different variation I have here and it's blurred it for me, it's blended it for me. If I want more than these three, I could just press generate one more time. And now I got three more options available that I could click through. And what's great about this is you could actually turn off this layer and go back to your original background picture. This is very non-destructive. It adds it as basically an adjustment layer on top. So I could go back to my original. And if I like the background too, I could actually select the subject and I could remove them. I'm gonna go ahead and press generate over here. And it's now going to remove the subject, leaving the background, watch this. And look at this, it filled in behind that person. If you see any kind of imperfection, you could just go ahead and use your lasso tool here and then click this one more time and generate. And then it will fix any type of imperfection if you don't get it perfect the first time around. So this way you could get a clean background, removing the person entirely from it as well, not just replacing the existing background. This is definitely the biggest update of all time with Photoshop. I hope you found this useful. All the resources in the description and I'll see you next time.